Ron DeSantis is falling further behind President Donald Trump among Republican voters in Florida. According to the Florida Atlantic University Main Street Research Poll Com Laboratory poll released on Thursday, Trump is ahead of DeSantis by 41 percentage points. That's twice Trump's advantage from July, when the former president had a 20-point lead over the Florida governor. The results mirror what polls are showing nationally and in the primary states critical to the 2024 Republican presidential nomination race good for Trump, bad for DeSantis. In FAU Main Street Poll Com poll of 946 registered voters in Florida from October 27 to November 11, Trump received 61% of the vote in multi-candidate Republican field. While DeSantis' vote rate was only 20%, Trump's turnout among Florida Republicans in July was 50. Compared to 30 for DeSantis, Trump has vantage, said FAU political science professor Kevin Wagner. DeSantis still needs to find a way to reach these voters in a way that doesn't alienate them. And I don't think he's accomplished that. One challenge for DeSantis is people's tendency to align with the candidate they see as most likely to win, Wagner said. There is an overriding perception in Florida and elsewhere that the former president is way ahead, Wagner said. And the longer people think about it, the harder it becomes to make progress. The foul poll found that a minority of Florida Republicans are considering another alternative. Former South Carolina governor and former ambassador to the United Nations under Trump, Nikki Haley was elected by nine of Florida voters. He was the choice of 1% in July. The survey also contains bad news for Democrats and President Joe Biden. He would lose Florida, a finding consistent with other polls. A particularly worrisome sign for Democrats while an overwhelming majority of voters in Florida, a heavily retired state, believe Biden is too old for the presidency. A majority of Florida voters do not see Trump that way. There is a perception that Trump is a more active, energetic figure than Joe Biden, Wagner said. It's pretty clear at this point there's a perception even within the parties that age is an issue and he may not be able to run for another term. And that's a narrative that needs to address head on. Voter approval of DeSantis' performance is also declining in the state he governs. The poll found that 50% of voters approved of his performance, while 49% disapproved. In July, 54 of Florida voters approved of his performance, while 43 disapproved. In the last four months, the net positive has increased from 11% to a net positive of one point. A year ago, DeSantis won a stunning re-election victory finishing 19.4 percentage points ahead of Democrat Charlie Chris DeSantis has been taking blows from Trump for months, and more recently from Haley. And many Floridians complain of being squeezed by the ever-rising costs of storm insurance. It's a problem Democrat.